Hello, Soraya Bastion here, owner and creator of Beyond Breath. I have one of my clients with me today who has uh, so gratefully uh, decided to share her experience with us about what she's been through and how Beyond Breath has, has helped her. So welcome today. Thank you so much for, for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. And uh, as most of uh, the testimonials go, she's decided to stay confidential, which we absolutely honor and respect. So we just appreciate the story uh, that she's willing to share with us. So we're going to start off with, with the question that I always start out with, but tell us a little bit about what the main problem you were experiencing before you joined Beyond Breath. Um, well, so I, like all of your clients, had experienced um, betrayal in my marriage, and um, and even though I was continuing to be married and stay with my husband and work through um, work through that trauma in the traditional way through marriage counseling and um, you know reading articles and books and 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 you know all of those types of avenues, I was still three, three and a half, four years after the fact, um, still really struggling to, to get back on my feet, to feel calm, to, um, to just be in, be enjoying my, my life and my marriage. I, I felt like I was living two different lives. Mm. Tell, tell us a little bit more about that. What does that mean? That means that, um, the, the face that I presented at work and um, to, to my, my, my children, my family, my friends, um, I could put on a, a facade and, and just move forward. I, I doubt anybody knew, but um, inside I was struggling. I was, um, I was almost constantly in like a panicked state thinking about, you know, when did it happen? How did it happen? What did I do? What could have gone differently? You know, if only, if only, mm -hmm. um, and, and not, not wanting to be, um, somebody who had had that happen in their life, <laughs> yeah. but, but you can't escape it. It happened. Um, right. but you never, never finding peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So three and a half, four years, of marriage therapy, couples counseling, reading the books, doing everything that you possibly can and living that divided life that like the fake smile on the outside, the shit show on the inside is how yeah. I describe it, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So you've been, um, you know, participating in Beyond Breath. What, what has been the highlight for you since, since joining? Um, well, the highlight for me is um, finding inner peace. I mm. that might sound um, kind of like a an out there term, but it, honestly, that is what it feels like to me. Um, mm. it, it's, you know, this has happened in my life and I, I needed to just be able to, to, to find a, a, a peace with that and um, stop stop the uh, the racing thoughts I was plagued by racing thoughts mm -hmm. um and it was impacting my ability to just be in the moment and enjoy all the wonderful things that I did have and and even with my my husband who was you know we were working on this together we I could be happy and 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 okay for one moment, but I was always looking to him, looking to him. Say if you, if only you would say this to me right now, then I could feel safe. And mm. and and you know, like real life. Of course, he was never following whatever script I had in my head. And and honestly, I doubt that there was a script where he could have, you know, hit all the marks. I needed to find that in myself. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's so true. And that's just like, if you were to say what you were hoping that he'd say, then you would question that his saying yeah. <laughs> that was real, right? <laughs> that he really meant it. 100%. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, had to, I had to learn, and it was one of the things that I learned through the modules. I had to learn that 
um, I had to find it for myself without any expectation of, you know, whatever I needed to do or say to feel better, fine, but without any expectation of what was going to come back to me mm -hmm. from him. And that I was so, so over relying on what he was going to do or say for my own healing. But now I know I can have that healing from myself. Mm, I love that. So what would you say that you learned inside of Beyond Breath that, that really transformed things for you? Um, well, <laughs> every single thing from Beyond Breath, for sure. Um, I, starting from finding, finding, um, safety in my own body and 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 not looking for external things to make me feel safe um, i spent a lot of time before this program um kind of hyper vigilant about my my husband what what he was doing who he was talking to what was on his phone um looking at his phone when he wasn't in the room you know, checking his computer history um, wanting to know um, like where he was in the car, you can have, you can, you can share apps and, and he was willing to do all of those things, mm -hmm. but it wasn't satisfying whatever, um, it wasn't satisfying me anyway, which sounds bizarre. I mean, he was willing to let me look at his phone, yeah. although there were times when it would be annoying for him, but um, and he was willing to have it, but the truth is a person could could still um, not be honest in their decisions, even if if they're willing to let you do all those things. And and I was driven to do that in a way that wasn't healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And and even though he may be as transparent as he possibly could be, again, when your body's in that state of panic, you won't believe it. Yeah. At all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't sound crazy because a lot of a lot of the women inside of beyond breath have the same you know thing and that's where we get stuck is this you know our husbands are some husbands are very willing to do anything that they can to prove to you that they're trustworthy but you know you can't you can't trust them with the, the place that your body's in and and some husbands don't want to try they don't care but you don't even trust that that's real you know when you're in this place and so when you go back to that place of like inner peace um i mean it makes sense i know it does sound out there but it makes sense because uh we let, well let's go to this like what have been your results so you know how is the relationship between you and your husband how how is the monitoring and the policing going now um well it's going much better i i that strange itch or desire to do that which is sort of a um like i'm going to go and i'm going to look at his phone and, and and you can feel the adrenaline starting to pump through your body as you do that i have no desire to do that and in fact the thought of it kind of is um makes me feel unwell i i i don't i'm not driven to do those things um and and so that that has been very good and i've learned i've learned through going through um the different modules that i can i can focus on how my body is reacting and if i feel one of the things that i have learned and that i use a lot is if i if i feel safe in the situation i will be close mm -hmm. with my husband and that has given me a freedom because because after for me after this happened to me um one of a, a, a something that gave me power was like well why would i ever reach out why would i ever reach out or be close with you or put my my hand on your back or reach to hold your hand like, you don't you don't deserve that no. but but i've come to a place now and it, and it hasn't even been that long i think i think i joined just a few well right around the hall right around november I uh -huh. but in that time there are times now where with with joy and with no expectation of whatever it means i my instinct is to reach over and so i will if i feel safe and or so that has been um something i didn't know that i would ever get that back yeah so that has felt really good and it's also helped me to know because before going through this process with beyond breath i would just 
um, I would say, you know, I feel this way, I feel this way, I feel this way, and, and wanting him to respond in a certain way. And now I, I take a breath and what is it that I'm feeling? What is it that I want to say? And and if if I say that, that's fine if that's what I want to say, but but doing it without that expectation of what he'll respond to has has opened up my ability to to speak my truth, to feel solid in my truth, and um, and to feel fine either way, regardless of what how it is received. Um, and and in fact, all of our communication, um, which had gotten really rocky by the end, because four years of of going at it and trying to to heal what isn't healing is a lot. And um, even though we were both trying to make it work, we were tearing each other apart. Yeah. And we don't do that anymore. Mm. So mm. that also mm. feels transformative to me. I love it. I love it so much. It's beautiful. And that transformation is so real. And it happens over and over again with this, with this work. I mean, we hear it on the calls. Yeah. you know all the time that they can't believe the transformation that's taking place and I, I love it I'm so happy for you that you've been able to experience that as well yeah. what would you say to someone who's on the fence about joining us um, I would say first of all that I understand because I certainly was on the fence and I went back and forth I, I found out about this um, about beyond breath through uh, social media through uh -huh. Instagram right and and I kept going back and of course Instagram um, works the more you click on something the more it comes back right so I kept I kept seeing it and and hesitating and and putting a toe in and taking a toe out and um, and I will say that for me and I felt so proud of myself once I finally did it and I made the commitment and I um, and I and regardless I, I did it for myself and mm -hmm. I was able to pay for it myself and not ask for anybody's permission. And um, it was it was one of the more powerful purchases I have ever made. Mm -hmm. And I didn't again, I didn't ask for permission and I I I I felt like I deserved a chance to um, to to make my marriage work for sure. But um, to help myself feel okay about everything that had happened, even if my marriage didn't work. Yeah. And um, immediately the modules, of course, all of that was so great. And, and I can't say enough how much the, the calls with all of the, um, with all of the, the ladies, how much that has meant to me to realize that sadly, I mean, there is a community of people um, that relate to this. It's not an uncommon thing to happen. And it has re just seeing all of these beautiful, wonderful ladies who are in that in that group and seeing them, you know, share and be vulnerable about something that um, that I held so tight and felt so much. And I don't even know why, but I had so much shame yeah. about this happening. And then to to be in that space with other people and to feel safe and to hear the stories and and the way we all um, try to help each other through it that's been wow that has been so powerful. I love it. I love it. I agree. I I I say almost every time at the beginning of the call how how much I was looking forward to being there because I just find them. <laughs> Uh, and I'm the one in charge. <laughs> and I just, I just love hearing, hearing the, the strength and the, the, the courage in every one of you as you go through this. And, and I've just loved that you've been there participating and showing up for yourself. And, and really how brave of you it was to take this step, regardless of what happened in your marriage, because you knew you needed it for yourself. And that's, that says something that's huge. So congratulations on that. Yeah. Uh, so the investment has been worth it for you. Absolutely. And, and I've been married for a long time and we don't make big purchases like that um, without like a lot of, you know, discussion back and forth. And I just presented it like I'm doing this and um, I don't know, it just felt super, super empowering on my part. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. 
Yeah. It, I'm worth it and, and, and we're worth it. And if this yeah. works, then it'll be the best money that I ever spent. And it has been. Yeah. And he's benefiting from, from yeah. your healing as yes. well. Yes, a hundred percent. And it's so honestly, this is sort of a, a silly story maybe, but um, on Wednesdays, which is one of the nights when, when you have the, the group call, I come home and a lot of times I have to work late. So I'll come home and, um, and he will have it like set up for you know there's a private place in our home where we do it and it's he understands that it's important to me and I think it's important to him and he provides you know he supports it by making sure that there's a place in the house free from distraction from the people that might be running around the house and um and keeping them away from that space and um you know he does he, he lets me very private I'll, I I share what I want to share about it but he um he makes sure that that it's set up for me and that that meant that that's a very sweet thing that I love that <laughs> yeah I always say like he's gonna benefit from your wholeness right yeah. and if he sees that and gonna feel that he's gonna do everything he can because he wants this merge too and and he's showing that I love yes. that I love that thank you so much for sharing and for those of you listening if this if this speaks to you, if this calls to you again, like you're not alone. Unfortunately, infidelity is a, is a huge pandemic in and of itself. And, you know, the, the way that it infiltrates marriages and this piece that's missing from, from therapy, from book reading, from podcasts is this, is this piece of self that's found inside of Beyond Breath. So, you know, take a look at my webinar, watch it. It's free. The link's in my bio. Uh, on Instagram and, and schedule a free 45 minute session with me. Let's see if Beyond Breath is, is a good fit for you. And to be part of this beautiful community, as she was just explaining, is, is in and of itself um, worthy of, of anything. But the healing is just profound. So thank you again so much for sharing. And to those of you watching, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.